So here's the major problem of this global minimum corporate tax. Why are countries like Ireland, who have this really good thing going on, going to give up their competitive advantage? You may have heard talk recently about a global minimum corporate tax. You want to know why you're hearing about it? Well, there's a preface story. Well, let's start out. Maybe you heard about Biden's infrastructure plan, major $2 trillion overhaul of transit, bridges, roads, broadband, and even clean energy across the United States. All of this sounds great. More jobs, better infrastructure, but just one major problem. Dude, but we got to pay for this. We got to pay. There's many other ways we can do it, but I'm willing to negotiate that. So $2 trillion is a lot of money. And Biden, well, he's looking straight at the corporations to foot this bill. Biden has stated he wants to raise corporate tax rate from 21% all the way up to 28%. Now, this seems like a huge hike, and it might be tough to get Congress completely on board. Maybe we can expect to see somewhere like a 24% corporate tax rate after it's all is settled. But this isn't it. Biden also wants to go after American companies operating abroad. Right now, companies get away with profit sharing where they're able to outlay profits in other countries and pay a lower tax rate. Biden wants to crack down on this. And, and here would be a market where he can gain a lot of tax dollars. And um, it's estimated that he could recapture as much as $2.5 trillion over the next 15 years by ending this country by country profit sharing. However, there is a major risk with this because those American companies that are offering services in other nations with lower tax rates, if all of a sudden they have to pay an American tax rate, that is going to cripple their competitiveness in those specific markets and might you might see some of those American companies exiting those markets and becoming less competitive. So then comes the argument and the debate, well, is it really worth sacrificing these American companies, competitors abroad to gather these funds? Yeah, that's a major problem. So that's where Janet Yellen comes in. She says, let's create a global minimum corporate tax. Problem solved, right? Well, let's listen to the plan in the words of Janet Yellen. We're working with G20 nations to agree to a global minimum corporate tax rate that can stop the race to the bottom. Together, we can use a global minimum tax to make sure the global economy thrives based on a more level playing field in the taxation of multinational corporations and spurs innovation, growth, and prosperity. So nicely stated, Janet Yellen. Let's create a level playing field and end this race to the bottom, right? Yeah, that sounds great in principle. You have countries and the, the citizens of the country stand to benefit from generating more tax dollars that can go into initiatives like Biden's infrastructure plan. Well, corporations, they finally stick in their fair share. You know, you have regular citizens paying 20, 30, and in some European nations like 40, 50 percent taxes, why can't corporations pay their fair share, right? And countries agree saying, hey, this sounds great, but the major problem is what is that number that they can agree on? For example, tax rate in Ireland is around 12 percent. In Hungary, it's 9 percent. In the U.S. right now, it's 21 percent. They want to raise it to 28 percent. And then Janet Yellen suggests a 21% global minimum corporate tax. This is where you have countries like Ireland and Hungary that are at that lower end of that tax bracket saying, hey, wait, we don't agree with this. So let's take a quick example at how multinational corporations use these international tax laws to their benefit. Let's take a large company like Apple. So Apple, will say in this example, produces an iPhone in California. And at the end of the day, they're going to sell that iPhone for $1,000 to a consumer in Paris. But it's not so simple. The phone will start off in Apple US, 
and let's say it costs them $300 to produce that iPhone. They'll then go sell that iPhone for $500 to Apple Ireland. So they're booking $200 worth of profits to the United States. Now the Irish Apple will take that iPhone that they paid $500 and they'll go and sell it to Apple France for $999. So in Tax Haven, Ireland, they're booking $499 of profit. And at the end of the day, that phone is getting sold in Paris for $1,000. So they're booking $1 of profit in France where taxes are sky high. A country like Ireland has lured so many American enterprises to their country because of this low tax rate. Just look at this comparison of business breakdown in Ireland. You've seen large companies use Ireland as a hub to avoid paying high taxes. So here's the problem with the global minimum corporate tax. What's in it for countries like Ireland? Are you going to ask them to give up their competitive advantage? I mean, they are lowering in these great tech companies, these highly profitable companies that are bringing in these lucrative jobs and highly skilled professionals to the Irish economy. And these skilled professionals are spending more money that, that's further propelling the Irish economy. And the Irish government, they, they're okay saying, hey, we're okay like taking a smaller piece of the pie in, in order to get these jobs. And that's the free market. And this so-called race to the bottom is what the free market is dictating. However, on the other hand, Janet Yellen does have a really good point that these corporations are getting off very easy and there could be substantial amount of revenue generated from higher taxes against these corporations and more alignment within the countries. This is really spurring a very interesting debate. Let me know down below in the comment sections where you stand on this debate. As far as how this will play out is rather unknown, but expect this topic to generate a lot of attention over the year ahead as the Biden administration really pushes this global minimum corporate tax initiative at G20 conferences and maybe in talks when they're talking with countries like Ireland. But as far as how this is going to play out, I could see this heading in a couple different directions. Maybe they're able to get everyone at the table to agree on a certain number that will work. However, probably unlikely, and if they are to reach an agreement, maybe they have to reach to other areas of foreign policy and what's way beyond my realm of understanding, but just getting other pieces maybe that Ireland's interested in, in, in other countries that have lower tax rates together and, and making something work to establish this global minimum corporate tax. But if they're not, then Biden will be in a tough situation. He'll be looking at either sacrificing American corporate competitiveness abroad, or he'll have to be forced to get funding from elsewhere. Maybe he'll keep with what America does best and he'll fund this $2 trillion infrastructure initiative through creating more debt. Who knows? But this will be an interesting subject to follow in the year ahead. And as more updates come, we'll, we'll touch on more with videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed.